Good morning, New Year Night. My name is Jet, and welcome to my channel, JITV, Jet in the Valley. So this was a note I took that says, people aren't interested in the solution. They're interested in their own identity, pride and, pride and guilt, for example. So if you are asso associating with somebody and they don't want the solution, there's lots of people that will ask you for your input and you'll give the input for a solution and they don't want any part of it, right? We need to identify these people. And if they are not people who are just wanting to constantly talk about the problem, they're constantly wanting to talk about um, narcissists or abuse or racism or sexism, or all they want to do is talk about all these problems, right? We have to identify those people and understand that they are going to reject the truth, which is to love love, love God, and love other people as themselves because they want to remain uh, self-important in, with an identity in earthly, worldly, mortal systems, okay? We are not to do that. If you are a love-based living individual and you understand what who the Most High God is and who, who Jesus Christ is, and you understand that... Um, it's not us who's doing stuff. It's that it's the power of God. The power of God can work through you once you accept the information that I've been saying, right? People can't accept that because they think they lose their identity, right? They do lose their worldly mortal identity, but you gain an identity in Christ, right? We are, we become the body of Christ. We're one living thing. Someone's the eye, someone's the nose, someone's the mouth. It's all the spiritual gifts come together and we all are the body of Christ because we all have been born again, okay? First, we're born of water by our mother. Then we're born again from the spirit from above and it's the spirit of Jesus Christ. Everybody gets the spirit of Jesus Christ who's born again. Therefore, we are the body of Christ and we come together and we use all of our gifts to function for the kingdom of, of love, right? And people aren't interested in the solution, the real solution, because that's the only real solution that there is. Then you need to part your ways from them and recognize that that person is not for you. You cannot associate with that person because what business does dark and light have with each other? So you walk into a dark room and you flip the light on, the dark goes away, right? Dark and light cannot mix. The light comes on, the dark goes away. So we have to recognize that that's why people, many people are doing that. They are way too attached to their um, self-importance of their ego and pride in this earthly, worldly, mortal system. But unfortunately, this system that we're in of earth right the beast like babylonian system it is dying it is being flushed down the toilet and the closer you get to the bottom the faster it starts to go it is not eternal and everlasting all you have to do is look at the life cycles here okay there's summer and fall then winter then spring okay over and over and over we're born as babies and we're toddlers and then we're teenagers and then we're old people and then we die, right? This is the life cycle. This is the, this is the system of earth that we are in. There is death here, right? So if you have your whole identity in this system that death exists in, right? And you are agreeing and complying and, and, and accepting that that's the opposite of what the most high God came here as Jesus Christ to do, right? He came so that we could have life, have it more abundantly and have eternal and everlasting life. Well, he took back the keys of death and now it's all going, going away. And when it's revamped with the new Jerusalem, death is going to be gone. So that means cycles of things are going to be gone. That means instead of a sun and a moon, right? Cause that's another form of a cycle. There will be no nighttime is going to be the glory of God will illuminate everything all of the time. There will be no deterioration. There will be no rotting. There'll be no decay and death and anything like that. And that's the whole purpose of all of the things that are happening. Okay? You have to be willing to put your earthly, worldly, mortal self on the line in order to save other people 
their eternal selves. Okay, we have to we have to be willing to sacrifice our mortal death and dying self for not only our eternal self, but for other people's eternal health, eternal self, right? Because we're all here for each other. It's it's a big huge system. We're hardwired with empathy to understand each other and all of these different things. And when I see you doing something, it can give me the idea to do it. We understand that. That's why we don't let children watch certain things or we're not supposed to. We shouldn't even be watching certain things. And it puts ideas in there and normalizes different things. And that's, that's for another video. But um, if people aren't interested in the solution, you have to let them not be inter interested in the solution. And you still go with the solution and just keep ticking along and and being a love-based living individual so uh like share and subscribe and with that much love and many thanks and i love you thank you